This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Click my link in the description below or go to expressvpn.com slash circle to see how you can get three months free and stick to the end to hear more. When I was growing up as a kid, if you would have told me that video games would evolve from playing as a purple dragon collecting gems to moving your real body to pick up trash to stab into a zombie's brain, I probably would have asked, where do I sign up? That sounds awesome. Virtual reality gets more and more accessible every year. It seemed like just a little while ago it was so out of reach, but now just for a few hundred bucks you can be slashing cubes like a freaking Jedi! When VR was just getting popular, I was kind of skeptical because it's hard to convey the feeling of virtual reality when you're just watching videos and reviews. It really is something you have to experience to truly believe. My first experience with real virtual reality was at Halo Outpost Discovery. And if you don't know what that is, well, for one, you're a stupid dork loser, but it's basically a traveling Halo convention. It's got LAN parties and meet and greets and laser tag and overpriced grilled cheese that cost like $12. Oh my god, it was so expensive, what the hell? But most importantly, it had the coolest VR experience ever. For starters, this was a lot more futuristic than what you're gonna find in your own house. We had to wear a big vest with a battery pack on the back, and we had a huge square to play in. It was 3v3 Slayer with just plasma pistols. Me and two of my buddies versus three strangers. And we absolutely f***ing annihilated them. The game lasted about five minutes, but I wish I could have played it for five hours. I am immediately went home and started researching VR systems and eventually bought a used Oculus Rift. It was like 200 bucks, baby, that's a bargain. And suddenly I became a soldier in Pavlov, a wanderer in Fallout, and whatever I am in Job Simulator. I don't know, I'm gonna get fired, I'm so bad at my job. But the one thing that all of these games had in common were they weren't really games as much as they were experiences or demos or things that didn't really seem that finished or it was done better outside of VR. But The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners? to me feels like the first VR game that could sell a system. It's got hours and hours of gameplay, tons of areas to loot and explore, a cool crafting system, and side quests. Ten zombies that pop out of nowhere! Get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me! Oh, and not only that, you don't just have zombies to worry about, there's also people trying to turn you into Swiss cheese with rifles. Listen, you can see I'm clearly not infected, alright? I have no weapons on me, I'm just walking through. <laughs> One of the coolest things about VR is how you handle your inventory and weapon setup. Your left and right hip are for daggers and pistols, your left chest is for a flashlight, right chest is for a journal, back right shoulder is for two-handed things like shotguns and bows, and your back left shoulder is for your backpack and inventory. One of the scariest experiences is when you're at nighttime with a dying flashlight and a zombie's charging you and you pat your right hip and there's no weapon. There's no dagger in sight, so you panic. You try to reach for your backpack and you pull something out, but he's already attacking you. You're shaking him off with your arm, and you don't know what to do. You're trying to pull out like a broken glass bottle to stab in his eye, and in that exact moment you realize you're immersed. The world is dark and gloomy, but it's also curious and full of adventure. You know, you find some food on the ground and you think, maybe I'll eat it now to survive the next fight, but I should bring it back to camp and use it to cook real food. But I'm really hungry, and that dog food's looking real good right now. And there's secrets around every corner. It could be a drawing leading to a supply cap, or maybe a photo of a family that if you look on the back has a code to a safe that gets you a new crafting recipe You really never know at the start of the game. You feel like you can die at any moment <laughs> Okay, here we go into the creepy dark wet scary tomb <laughs> Thank God I have my screwdriver <laughs> But towards the end of the game you're pulling up to the zombies like I came here to kill zombies and eat dog food And I'm all out of dog food. Oh <laughs> actually false alarm I have one more can left, so I'm just gonna head out now. And oh my god, how you heal wounds in this game and apply bandages is the coolest thing ever. You literally have to wrap it around your arm. God, I love it so much! Virtual reality has come a really long way since it was created, and I'm excited to see what happens in the next few years. Well, excited and terrified, because if a game comes out that's so good I don't want to leave it, that's when we're gonna have a problem. Even now, if I play VR for like two hours and I take off the headset and look at my hands, I'm like, these are not my real hands. Hands. Who are these imposters hands? I'm in my office trying to warp stuff to my hand like in the game. I'm like, come on, come on, why isn't this working?
Uh, I want to give another huge shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Do you like privacy and security and way more options on Netflix and Hulu? Well, a VPN might be the exact thing you need right now. And if you don't know what a virtual private network is, it essentially creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet, so no ne'er-do-wells can come and see the private things that you don't want them to see. Hey, that's my grandma's secret chili recipe! Get out of here! And not only that, YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu are going to have way more options because you can reroute your connection to a server in a country of your choice, making geo restrictions poof into thin air. I absolutely love ExpressVPN because it's easy to use and super helpful. I can't imagine my day-to-day -day life without a virtual private network. So thank you again ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, YouTube is pretty crazy, so sponsors like this really help me make the content that I want to make. Ugh. Thank you guys for watching this video, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh my god. <laughs>